Hi, it's Susan. Welcome back to my channel. I have a tutorial for you today using some of our much loved tissue paper and napkins. And one of the things that I hear a lot of people that they want to be able to do is adhere a napkin or tissue paper to a piece of um, paper and not have it get all wrinkled. And especially when we can see the text through the tissue paper or through the napkin and we like to do that and there have been some videos going around I will link to a tutorial by Tuesday Moriarty who has one where she shows you how to iron it with plastic wrap and that is a very popular method I have a different way to show you and I have done it with two different things we're gonna pull these well okay I'll show them to you first I'll show them to you first um, this is with let's see you can see that there's text through here. This is just with pattern tissue paper. This is with a slick tissue paper like you would get in a gift box. And this is with a napkin. You can still see everything through it. This is with some cotton fabric, so you can't see through it, but it is adhered very nicely to a book page. This is with my sheer material. You know how I like my shears for my, my book text shears. So there's actually writing on the other side. I think you can see through there. Um, you can see through it on my side. And so it still feels like fabric on this side, but it is stuck and it is flat. And this is some more fabric. This was one of my jelly prints. And this was some stamp text and another napkin. All of these were used doing one product. And again, we have the same things. This is some cotton fabric on the back of a book text. This is my sheer fabric. In the back of a book text. These are little pieces because I was just doing samples before I did the video. This is pattern material or pattern, you know, that pattern tissue paper. This is slick, shiny uh, tissue paper. Napkin. Another napkin. This is a napkin on some um, eco dyed paper that was also dyed with something else. These were things that were fails, and this was on another eco dyed paper. And I think I had some, oh yeah, these were on the uh, brown craft paper. So this was on an eco dyed paper. So how did I do these? And how easy is it, and how stinky is it, and all that good stuff. Easy peasy is what it is. Get my things out of the way, I'll probably have an avalanche around here. You need something to iron on. You need your trusty iron. You need some parchment paper, and then you need either, whoops, put them out of reach, either Mod Podge or Matte Medium. These are the two that I use. You could probably use Golden Matte Medium without any problem if there's another brand of Matte Medium, but both of these I used. And for those of us trying to use up their stash of Mod Podge because they don't like it so much, Mod Podge works really well. and. You know how we always worry about it being sticky afterwards? Well, once you iron it, you don't have any sticky issues. So what you need to decide first is what you're going to want to um, use, you know, for your backing. And so I was working with book pages. And so you have to paint them ahead of time with your adhesive material and then let them dry. And so I usually use either one of these plastic mats I get them they're plastic cutting mats I get them at the dollar store they come two for a dollar and stuff peels off of there or one of these silicone mats that are pretty reasonably priced I think you get three in a pack for those I'll put the links for those down below and then I just put a very thin coat on my book page these are the Mod Podge ones and let it dry and a thin coat of my matte medium and that is it. You let it dry and then you are good to go. And so you can do a whole bunch of these up ahead of time and let them dry and then come back later and iron on your goodies. So let's turn on the iron and have some fun, right? Let's do these in, let's see, this is Mod Podge. We'll do the Mod Podge ones first. And I'm going to label my ends so I can cut these maybe into pieces. Mod Podge. Mod, mod. Sometimes we like wrinkles and sometimes we want no wrinkles. So it's just good to have options, right? 
And let's pick this butterfly napkin. Very cute. You know, and if you're doing a full book page like this and you can go ahead and make an envelope out of it afterwards, that would be really fun. All right, scissors, scissors. My kingdom for the scissors. All right. And then you need some parchment paper and that's gonna protect your iron from the glue that's gonna get hot. And I mean, you can't get much easier than this. You can, you can sort of see my text through it now, but you're gonna see it even more. And now, see we've got this wrinkle here because where it was folded. And it takes no time at all to melt that glue with your iron. You wanna use a dry iron no steam on this, just a completely dry iron. And again, make sure you use something to protect your iron from any glue that might escape. I sort of sing happy birthday in my head when I do this. It doesn't take that long at all. All right, and look at that wrinkle is gone. And looky there, that is adhered. And you still have the texture of the napkin. It feels so beautiful, almost like fabric. And there you go, you could make a tag out of that real quick. Let's do something else. All right, I still got my Mod Podge. Let's take some pattern tissue paper and make it big enough for a tag. I'll just cut this one in half again, I think. Big enough. Oh, you know what? Let's 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 just really give it a test. Let's see what happens. We've got some wrinkles in it there now. Inside my little parchment, completely covering. You know the possibilities for this are really endless. I love it. There is no smell. You are not using the cling wrap. Um, there is another video floating around uh, about using plastic bags, and I. I'm not a fan of doing that. Plastic bags are toxic and the fumes that they let out, even if you can't smell them, can possibly not be good for you. There's a lot of videos around about ironing the plastic bags. I hear people that heat their Tyvek up and stuff and I just get really nervous about that, but that's me. I'm, I'm a nervous Nelly. So here we got your pattern tissue paper, those wrinkles that we put into it, just a few little ones left, and I didn't really work it very well. I just wanted to show you how that could adhere so nicely. All right, let's see what else we have here. Uh, let's grab, oh, I thought I had myself all prepped. Let's grab on that last piece of Mod Podge, fabric. Okay, so you can, um, the fabric is cotton, I haven't tried it yet with any of the heavier ones. Uh, I'll have to do another experiment on that and report back to you. Let's see. If it's not gonna cover completely, I'm gonna try and cut some of this off because I don't want any other glue escaping. All right. Oh, I took my little parchment away. So Mod Podge on my book page, some cotton material. Some parchment material. Now the first method I saw of doing this, they had painted the fabric with a matte medium and then you could you know, save it to iron onto something later. And that didn't work for me. I'm not sure why, but it just didn't work for me. It, um, it just fell right off. But, doing it this way, it works perfectly. And it still feels like fabric. That's what's so awesome, is that it still feels like fabric. So, that's fabulous. Okay, what else have we not done? Um, oh, regular tissue paper. Let's do, do a piece of this. I have a big thing of Mod Podge page left. So, let's see if we can do a really big sheet. That would be a nice envelope if I use this tissue paper. And 
I could have had this prepped ahead of time, couldn't I? But I did not. Whoops, and I didn't do it big enough. That'll teach me. All right, so now I have that all the way over. Take my parchment paper, and I know that that's all the way over. Hope everybody is having an awesome day. Oops, I got my parchment paper on. Let's try it the other way and see if we can not slide so much. I have got a whole bunch of Make Ahead videos that I am working on right now. So my goal is maybe next week to release a bunch of them. Keep you guys busy working on your stash building. And looky there. There's my book page, and I can see, can you see? You can see my text through there a little bit. This is the text that you can actually see. This is actually on the tissue paper. This is the text shining through. So that's it with Mod Podge. Shall we do some with matte medium? Same song, different verse. All right, here's some matte medium. The matte medium, I had to really give myself a... Um, a second look because it it felt like I was on the I didn't want to iron on the wrong side it uh, feels so different than the Mod Podge all right let's grab um, that piece of let's grab a piece of this napkin I mean you can make so many envelopes and tags and journal cards and just so many beautiful beautiful things without worrying about getting wrinkles from your glue or ripping the the uh, napkin because that's what I always do I am really bad whenever I'm using a wet medium like Mod Podge or matte medium or paint I do too much I really do too much so there we go if you're looking at just that side you see this line here because that's in the actual design but you don't see any wrinkles from the napkin. Let's do let's do one of my shears. I just love this sheer fabric. I just want to do the whole rest of this yeah in my shear. Oh won't that be pretty? You guys have seen me do other things with shear where I hold it down with a glue stick and I sew around it but this gives you more possibilities and don't we like that in our crafting we like to have as many possibilities to uh, do things because sometimes we might not have all the materials on hand uh, sometimes for one reason or another we don't want to use a particular material or maybe we just don't have access to it you know some countries don't have access to the same things that I do here in the US so it's just really nice if we have a lot of different ways to go about getting to the same end result and I should have probably been standing when I was doing this, but I'm not going to do that now because I think I'll bump the camera. This material is so sheer, it's not going to take much to, to melt it. Let's see how that looks. Whoops! Might have left it on a little bit long. You can get some burn spots, but you know what? Since this is all neutral, it doesn't matter because it all blends just fine. I left it on there a little long. That's okay, so we're all adhered here. And look at that, and it still, it just feels absolutely as soft on the outside as it does right here. Let's do another napkin. I have one more thing of matte medium, and oh, this is a pretty napkin. Let's do this one. All right, and we've got that crease in the center, so we all, all see those from when we have our napkins are all folded up. Let's see if I can pull this up a little more. All right. Line that up. So if you try this technique out, I would love it if you would come back and tell me about it. You can uh, leave me a link to your video in the comments down below. And if you want to see more tutorials, 
let me know. Let me know what you're looking for. What do you want to learn? What do you want to get better at? What do you want a different way of doing something at? Or what do you just want to see my take on it? So I think that's the thing is we all get frustrated. We stop ourselves and say, everybody's done something with napkins. I can't do something different. But, you know, we just, we like to hang out with our friends and enjoy doing crafting things. And sometimes that's all it takes is just watching somebody else do something to spark our own imagination. All right, looks like I could do a little bit more up here. And I, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I have found matte medium may actually be better, or I'm sorry, that Mod Podge may actually be better than matte medium at doing this. Or at least it's more consistent. I can say that. It's a little more consistent. So there we go. So now that's adhered. And that's adhered, so I could just cut this up. Or you could tear it if you wanted the tear torn look. It dries, you know, obviously right away. The heat dries right away. I don't have to worry about burning myself on some plastic, which knowing klutzy me, that's exactly what I would do. Okay, I can clean this up a little more later, but I just want to show you. And then I have one more experiment after this. So look at that. How pretty is that? Ready for me to use, make into an envelope probably. All right, where's my little, ah. That's the one that didn't work. Maybe I have another experiment for you. Maybe I lost it. Oh, darn. I th no, I think that's it. I think there should be two of these. Yep. All right, so what I have here, this is a jelly print, and it's been coated with matte medium, and this is a stamped piece of fabric that was coated with matte medium. If I did this again, I will probably stamp the fabric and then do the matte medium on the paper, but let's see what happens when we do this. I have had hit and miss. I'm sorry, not matte medium. These are both with Mod Podge. I've had hit and miss results with these, but let's see what happens this time. For some reason, when it's in the fabric, it might just take longer to melt. Um, I don't know. So I think next, and then it doesn't feel as much like fabric. So my, my preferred way to do it would be to leave the fabric as fabric, stamp it, or do the jelly printing, or just use a, something cut from a fabric that you like. Put the glue onto your book page, let it dry, or well, your Mod Podge or your matte medium. I haven't tried it with, <clears throat> with white glue and then use that to adhere. All right, so they are both stuck. So this, if you're, if you're going to do it this way and do the fat, treat the fabric first, it seems like Mod Podge does a better job. But again, you, you don't get the same feel as you do from the other stuff. So that is what I have for you today. Adhere your napkins by putting your adhesive wet material onto your book page or paper, whatever you're going to do. Let it dry and heat it up, and there you go. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you're not already a subscriber, I do hope you will hit the subscribe button, and let me uh, have a happy thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Bye for now.